habits that became synonymous with failure will disappear from these signs, as Mid Staffordshire NHS Foundation Trust is dissolved. The site itself will stay open under a neighbouring trust, but services like maternity will be downgraded, others will be moved to different hospitals. As the government confirmed the plans, the Prime Minister sought to reassure hospital staff and patients. What's being proposed are good steps to make sure that A&E continues at Stafford Hospital and hard work to be put in to see that if it is possible in the future uh, to make sure we continue with uh, consultant-led maternity services so people can go on having their babies delivered in Stafford Hospital. But for locals who fought to keep the hospital in its current form, the decision is a bitter blow. Now this hospital has really turned itself round. It's one of the best in the country, it's probably the safest. People should look to now, not look back. You know, we, we can't go back. We don't deny that things were never right there, but it has been put right now. After a public inquiry ruled patients had died unnecessarily at Stafford between 2005 and 2008 and many more had suffered appalling care, the hospital trust was deemed to be financially and clinically unviable. Those who campaigned for change have welcomed today's announcement. At least it's a step in the right direction. There has to be a line drawn underneath this. There has to be a line. You've got to move forward and we have to move forward for the benefit of the people of Stafford. Trust bosses paid tribute to staff today, saying they'd come a long way through difficulties and uncertainty. There's no specific timetable yet for when the trust will be dissolved, and those opposing the move are considering possible legal action against it. Peter Lane, Channel 5 News.